Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Jane Wong from her new book, How to Not Be Afraid of Everything, uh, published by Alice James Books in 2021. Uh, this poem is midway through the collection and entitled, After My Father Leaves, My Mother Opens the Windows. After my father leaves, my mother opens the windows to let the smoke out, to air out each promise. Each day my father disappears in Atlantic City. A pigeon flies in and rejoices with us. We dance like hornets, stringing the ugliest of babies. Praise the breath, praise orange glow cleaner. I help her carry my father's floral armchair covered in cigarette burns down to the basement and shove it into a corner we can all forget. Decades before, in another country in 1967, my grandmother has no windows to open, no pigeon, no basement, no daughter to call her own. In 1967, my grandmother sneaks a cigarette in lousy moonlight and coughs up a cricket. All around her, the Red Army moves through mud, boots of spackle and shine. Her husband will disappear soon in Hong Kong, in the rattle of trams and trash heaps. In the moonlight, her cheeks are blistered plums, plums my mother places on our kitchen windowsill to dry out, some kind of medicine that could cure the distance between all of us, this stone fruit, blust and sun and open air. And that was After My Father Leaves, My Mother Opens the Windows by Jane Wong from her new book, How to Not Be Afraid of Everything. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about Jane Wong, as well as where to pick up, pick up your own copy of this book. Uh, there's always a link to the publisher to purchase your own copy as well as more information about other projects and series that I'm currently working on. Um, in general, <laughs> that's basically it. Um, I do these videos to help support these poets and these presses and encourage and, and well, invite all of you to, to do the same in terms of uh, checking out their work, supporting these poets by buying copies of their book, and um, and sharing your thoughts in reviews, in commentary, uh, whether it's comments to this video, whether it's through sharing these things through social media, um, whether it's to celebrate some excerpt or line that really strikes you. Um, but I invite you to do that. And if you want to go the extra mile, let the poet know. And uh, poets are always thrilled when we hear back from people about what uh, a line, an image, or a poem has done for someone else. Um, so in some small way, I encourage you to do that as part of your work and my work to continue to support poets everywhere. Um, and I think that's about it for us this time. If you want to support this channel, consider subscribing to it. All you have to do is hit the bell icon and you'll be notified every time there's a new video. Um, simple things you can do, hit the like button, comment on the videos, share them on social media. Um, or just let me know if there's a poet or a poem you'd like to see featured, and I'll do my best to track it down and try to feature it on this series. Um, if you have a new book forthcoming and want to be featured, you can also let me know. That's perfectly fine. Um, and I'll do my best to, to locate a copy. If you want to send me a review copy, that's fantastic, but you're not obligated to do that. Um, I understand it might be tricky to get books up to me in Canada. Um, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's tougher. But uh, I appreciate it if you do, but I can also try to arrange to purchase copies of my own or get them through the library. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else. So thank you for being a wonderful support to this series and to this channel. Um, I'm grateful for all of the new people that have been joining us in the last few weeks and uh, hope to see many more. Uh, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and we'll be back again every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday with new poetry and new reading. And if you like this, uh, keep, well, keep sharing it. And uh, we'll be back again very soon with more poetry, more reading, and more discussion. Um, until then, all the best. Good luck with your own writing and creative work. If you're engaged in the, uh, well, the fun task of NaNoWriMo, writing a novel during this month, um, best of luck to you on that. I know as a poet, that seems like a mountain 
a mountain of a mountain to, to take on. Um, so kudos to you for tackling it. And uh, I'm working on my own projects that are perhaps smaller than that mountain, but nonetheless challenging. And, uh, and hope to have more to share about that in the near future. So until, until we meet again, um, good luck. And, uh, and well, may, may, your, may, the pen, may the words come to you easily as they're not coming to me today. Um, and may you find joy in the work that you do uh, creatively, imaginatively, uh, collaboratively, in community, or on your own, on the page, or on the stage. Um, wherever you are, may you find that connection that you desire, that you've been longing for, and may you be heard. And, uh, and may that inspire you to keep on writing and keep on working. So until next time, all the best. And we'll see you soon.